And here is our SLP kit packed in an anti-static high impact foam with our motor mount, eight foot power lead, push and go connector, drill bit, and hex wrench. Now let's jump into the install. We'll be installing it in an 80 series rim device today. We'll start off by removing the filler plate. After that, we can flip the device over and remove all four screws on the back of the device. Once we've removed the screws, we can flip the device back over and slide the push pad off until about half of it is exposed. It's a good spot. Now we can go ahead and remove the attaching bracket by sliding out the pin. Make sure to hold on to that pin for later. Before we go any further, we're just going to flip the device back over and open up those back two holes with the drill bit provided. Now we can grab our motor mount. And you want to make sure that the set screw is flush on that attaching knuckle so that it fits right over that back activating bracket, drops right into the motor mount. Now I'm going to line up the back activating bracket with the existing holes in the motor mount and reinstall that pin to secure our motor mount. And now with the Allen wrench provided, I'm going just to secure that set screw to make sure we're locked on tightly to our activation point. Now we can hook up our push and go connector and plug into power before we slide it in. For more information on the MM4S and how the push and go connector works, see the link below. Because on this device, we have to slide in the filler plate and the motor at the same time. Make sure that you're watching the front latch to push it under the push pad. Once the device is back in, we can flip it over and you might have to mess around a little bit just to get those activating brackets to line up like we see here. And now we can go ahead and reinstall the two existing screws and the two new screws provided will be installed on the back. And now that those are all secure, we can flip the device back over and hook up to power. And we'll fire it off a few times just to make sure it's working. Now I can go ahead and set my push to set. I'm going to depress the pad, release it ever so slightly, apply power, wait for those six beeps. Once those six beeps has finished, it's learned its new location. I can refire here and see that I'm all good to go. And that's a wrap, amigos. Thanks for joining us for this SLP installation. Thanks for calling Command Access. How may we help you?